This video is brought to you in part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats, your game, your style. Hello everybody, it's Kevin from Klotz Productions, back for game two of the match between Tempered Steel and Grixis. I was on the play this time, but after looking at a hand with six lands and one six drop, I quickly decided to throw it back and go down to six. I wasn't excited with the new hand, but decided to go ahead and keep it, and led the game off by laying down a mountain. Jason then laid down a plains and played a mox opal. My second land drop was a dragon skull summit, and then Jason put a glint hawk idol into play. The flaw of my opening hand became apparent as I missed my third land drop and just passed the turn back to Jason. He then laid down a buried ruin and cast a second idol. He then followed it up by paying two life, going down to 18 in order to cast a Vault Scourge. He then attacked with his first idol, however I used the Doom Blade to destroy it. I made a little bit of progress as I drew an island off the top and put it into play. Jason then attempted to resolve a Tempered Steel, however I countered it with a Mana Leak. So he decided to just animate his idol and attack for another 3 damage with the idol and the Volt Scourge. I decided to pay 4 life going down to 16 in order to cast a Dismember and kill the idol. I then took another 1 damage from the Scourge going down to 15 and Jason went back up to 19. I then missed another land drop and passed the turn without doing anything new. Jason then put a Shrine of Loyal Legions into play and followed it up with an Etched Champion. He then attacked with the Scourge again, dropping me to 14 and taking him to 20. On my next turn, I missed another land drop, and then Jason brought his shrine up to one counter during his upkeep. He then cast a Hero of Blade Hold, bringing the shrine up to two counters. He then attacked with his champion and his scourge for another three damage, taking me down to 11 and going up to 21 himself. I continued to not draw land, and then Jason played another Volt Scourge, going to 19. Then pre-combat, I used a Doom Blade to destroy his Hero of Blade Hold. He then hit me for another three damage with his champion and his scourge, taking me to eight and going back to 20 himself. Then post-combat, Jason went ahead and sacrificed his shrine to get himself three mirror tokens. I was looking to draw another black source and it showed up, however it was in the form of a black cleave cliff so it came into play tapped and I wasn't able to use it. Jason then attacked for seven, going up to 22 himself and dropping me down to one life. I untapped and was finally able to cast the black sun zenith in my hand which I used for two in order to wipe Jason's board. After the devastating blow, Jason simply played land go for his next turn. I then drew a soul for falls which I put into play and passed it back. Jason then sacrificed his Buried Ruin to get a Volt Scourge back and paid 2 life going down to 20 in order to put it into play. Then at the end of his turn I drew a couple cards by playing a Think Twice and flashing it back. I then played my 6th land drop which was a Drowned Catacomb and used it to cast an Inferno Titan. When the Titan came into play I did 1 damage to the Scourge to kill it and 2 damage to Jason dropping him to 18. However, Jason was able to get rid of my Titan with an Oblivion Ring. He then finished up his turn by playing the last card in his hand which was another Volt Scourge. On my next turn, I played another Think Twice to draw another card and then killed the Scourge with the Devil's Play. Jason then drew a Porcelain Legionnaire and put it into play, so I flashed back my Devil's Play to kill it as well. Jason then attempted to resolve a Shrine of Loyal Legions, however I countered it and removed it from the game with a Dissipate. Then on my turn, I cast an Azur Mage. Jason then played Land Go, so at the end of his turn, I drew a card with my Mage and then flashed back a Think Twice to draw another card. I then cast an Olivia of Alderaan and then attacked with my Mage for 2, dropping Jason to 16. The first Memnite of the game finally showed up for Jason, however Olivia made quick work of it and made herself stronger. I then attacked for 6, dropping Jason to 10. He then played Land Go for his turn, so at the end of the turn I used my Mage to draw 2 more cards. I then attacked again, dropping Jason to 4, and then when the top card of his library was only a Plains, that ended the game, taking us to Game 3. So that's the end of this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, you can find the full gameplay and the annotations at the end, along with other highlights gameplays. And if you like this or any other video, remember to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, and then subscribe to be notified when new videos are posted.